हे फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अमित कुमार एंड यू आर वॉचिंग फ्रेंड्स टेक सोल्यूशन सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज आई सो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ ड्रिल डाउन चार्ट इन पावर बी आई सो इन ऑर्डर टू क्रिएट अ ड्रिल डाउन चार्ट वी हैव टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हायर आर की एंड वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हायर आरिकल डेटा ओके से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव हियर the first level of data is country then state then okay so this can be a hierarchy then we can enable uh, something like country wise uh, discount state wise discount and city wise discount like this in uh, date date dimension you can have from the first level year quarter month and even week and so on up to days and week days all those stuff you can create so the same thing i'm going to show you in the practical uh, sessions uh, let me tell you guys uh, here in uh, uh, you know date data type um, any field which is a date in this case the hierarchy uh, hierarchy is in build in uh, power bi we don't have to create a specific hierarchy uh, group here but in case of any other uh, fields like say any other uh, data types like string here it is uh, city country state so in this case we have to create explicitly a hierarchy group where we can add these uh, you know fields in a top most level okay top to bottom level all right so let's start with i have this micro strategy uh, desktop and then i have this data model you can see the data model view here these three tables are connected to each other i have this transaction table product table and product master uh, customer master table okay so here in transaction table i have this uh, date called transaction date i can itself create the hierarchy here through this date which would be a time dimension and i will create this uh, hierarchy here in the customer table so let's start i'll go to the visualizations first of all uh, i will create a hierarchy in this uh, customer table in order to create a hierarchy you click on any attribute which is uh, coming in the very top level data like country i'll just right click here okay there's an option called new hierarchy okay when you just add new hierarchy it will form something like this you can rename it also you can rename the hierarchy so you can give the hierarchy say hmm, Okay, I'm just giving the hierarchy as location-wise DD. That means uh, I just make say it will make sense me to that that it is location-wise drop down or drill down. Okay, so the first level data which I added to this hierarchy is country. Now the next level data I have to add is the street. Then it would be city and so on. So the next level data I can add it as select state and add to hierarchy. so the hierarchy name which we have defined it's showing here i can simply add this to hierarchy now you can see under country there is a state is added which is different from this particular state attribute so now the next is city i'll again add to location wise uh this uh, drill down so i have this country state city and absolutely hierarchical data i can even add the customer name below to this then i would like to see what all are the customers belongs to my this hierarchical locations make sense all right now this is my hierarchy has been uh, created and then i will create um, i have these measures in the transaction table and though these tables are uh, uh, re referenced or related i can simply create a chart okay let's create let's try to create a very simple thing say um, say i will create a bar, pie chart or say i will create a simple bar chart okay I'll create a simple bracket. Select the object and just uh, make a straight shot of this object so that I can see the nodes of the data apparently. And choose this hierarchy. Okay, if you choose this, it will be simply dragged to this uh, uh, axis uh, 
drop down i mean axis uh, attribute so i can simply choose this hierarchy so once i'm choosing it i could select all the data in the hierarchy now i do have something which we add like uh, revenue okay in the measure so i just added customers first level is countries and then country wise revenue i'm able to see so to give a final touch to this objects i'll also select i'll also drag this hierarchy to this legend color legend or uh, just remove it uh you can add the revenue to this color legend so okay let it be let it be uh, so then i have to give some final touch to this chart i should uh, you know make this text a little bit uh, clear so x axis uh, has to be apparently showing it should uh, give is as 16 probably 17 i can give the text size and the color i can define it's black now it's showing clearly now then you can simply go to this side and you have the property go to y axis sorry y axis here uh, the text again can be 17 and the size, uh, color can be black so now you see the data is clearly showing in the y axis again uh, what i can do the display is non so that your exact values to be shown on the chart and something what we can do is data label switch on this data labels and display should be uh non so that you know okay let, let it be auto and the text size can be 12 position could be inside and vertical and serial okay this looks nice okay, so this is my chart uh, here i can see and i would like to show those visualizations in a hierarchical way so as we have created the hierarchical chart what we do first we have the various countries listed here in this uh, you know this thing in this chart so uh, once you're selecting one thing say panama right click here as it is a drill down chart you will have this option enable you can see this option go to the next level of hierarchy and go to the uh, so expand all the levels of hierarchy so these two option will be enable i mean go up and go down this will be enable you can select this you can click here click into the drill down okay or else you can right click here and drill down so you see in the panama country there are two different states available so i can go inside a particular state i can simply select on then go down hawaii and then uh oh, there's a one um, a city is coming up in this thing and here you can see the labels revenue by country state city so basically the hierarchy the label of hierarchy where we are it is representing the same so now we are in the state label now we are in the country label so i will select something in some other country like austria so once i'm selecting austria i'm getting two different states into it and then i can select one particularly this city i can see the cities then i will select the customers belong to this city see one customer is there okay so the data and the drill down is beautifully uh, showing here it is very nice uh just make uh, me uh, give me some time to enable this title title could be 15 and then color can be say something you know okay all right now you can see the title swing beautifully and uh, the data which is represented here in this it's showing in the label wise so now we are in country wise uh, city i mean uh, revenue by country and then you can select any particular country say india i have pm so some other data some rough data is you know, showing here i'll select particularly one uh, country which has this state this city and this customer okay so very nicely this drill down chart is represented 
I will also show you one more drill down chart. This is basically the explicitly we created the drill down. But in some cases, I will tell you friends, uh, in case of your uh, uh, date attribute, you don't have to explicitly create the drill downs because date is itself is a drill down representations. So I will create another chart, say pie chart here. Now in pie chart, I will choose this transition date. Okay, so you see once you select the transition date, the entire uh, hierarchy of the date is displayed here. Year, quarter, month and day. Okay, then I will select this uh, country wise uh, revenue. Month wise uh, stock, let's say represent stock. Okay, so very simply it is created the stock. I will go to the property uh, and then I will enable the same steps. The same thing we have enabled here and we have here it is uh, 2010 11 and 12 so i will select this 2012 so on selection you can see all the data are also getting filtered now you go to the next level go to the hierarchy in 2012 so in year 2012 we have four quarters okay it's showing year then quarter level so i will go to the uh, this quarter one and you can see january february march there are three basic years okay likewise i will go to january so you will get the different days so as you can see the level of hierarchy here day is the last bottom most attribute so different day wise stocks are showing here so i can found now i can take the decision then uh, that in the days uh, to 12th there was a highest stock available in with me so there is no next level of the data i can simply go to the level of so i am in the top level again i'll go to year 2011 so i can see the quarter two the quarter three i have all these three months i'll go to july and i can see all these dates so it is very nicely represented the drill down chart from the higher level to lower level so i have to create a hierarchy a group in this uh, other attribute like string but here in um, uh, date i did not have to create this uh, hierarchical group explicitly because date has this group by default okay friends so this is all about the uh, creating drill down chart in power bi so thank you so much if you like this video please like and subscribe and to see the upcoming videos you can press on the bell icon so that you can get you do not miss the all the futures video i am uploading every day thank you so much